Good morning, caregivers. I am Carol Howell with Let's Talk Dementia Live on Facebook. I am an internationally certified dementia practitioner and author of the Amazon number one best-selling book called Let's Talk Dementia. You can find us on um, the website, <laughs> our website, I'll get it out here, at letstalkdementia.org. And you can also find us on Spotify and on YouTube and Instagram and any other thinking gram you can think of under Let's Talk Dementia. Thank you for joining us. I want to thank our sponsors that help finance our ministry and we thank them for that as we offer free dementia education every day, all day, throughout, well, really the world. And those sponsors are Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. If you are publishing something that's got words on it, then she needs to take a look at it. So give her, um, or send her an email, and you can find her website at editorbeth.com. Life in the Carolinas at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com and on YouTube, Life in the Carolinas, where it's never a bad day for a good story. And they should know they're an award-winning show. And also HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. They are mechanics for Hondas, Hyundais, Acuras, Toyotas, and Kias amazingly wonderful honest super talented individuals to keep your car in tip-top shape tell all these folks that carol sent you well i said on my little blurb this morning that i do at eight o'clock that um each morning at eight i'm going to tell you what i'm thankful for and this morning i mentioned a beautiful sunset that i saw last night that's not something I normally pay a lot of attention to, but with um, moving here to Florida and our uh, living room looks out over the lanai, which looks out over the water, it was like, wow, look at that sunset. So I sent my little sister a picture of it, and I said, this is the view from our lanai. And she wrote back and said, girl, you're from South Carolina, and that's called a back porch. <laughs> But when in Rome, do as the Romans, right? And when in Florida, it's called a lanai. So she looked up the word lanai, and supposedly it is a covered porch in Hawaii. Well, I do not live in Hawaii, but you call it a back porch here, and they're going to look at you kind of funny. <laughs> they look at me funny as it is, so I don't need to bring any more attention. But it was gorgeous. But it made me think about God's handiwork and how beautiful nature can be. So today I wanted to talk with you about um, a connection or maybe connecting the phases of nature with just feeling like you want to hide. You know, there are days when life is good and the sun is shining and it's not raining and it doesn't need to rain. It's beautiful and the flowers are blooming and everything smells wonderful. And those are the days in the caregiving world where your loved one's in a good mood. They're not sundowning. They're eating well. If you ask them, do they want to do something? They want to do it. And you're just like, hey, this, this caregiving, this isn't so bad, right? It's just going good for you. You know exactly what you're going to fix for lunch and they absolutely eat every bite of it. Oh, those are the sunshiny days of our caregiving world, right? Then you have some days where maybe it's a little bit overcast and you know, they're, they're okay. It's a good day, but they really didn't want to get dressed this morning and you had to kind of push them a little bit to agree to put on their clothes or to get out of bed. They eat breakfast, that goes good, but in the morning at, um, or, or late morning, they don't want to do whatever it is you wanted them to do. For instance, you might've wanted them to um, maybe go outside and go for a walk they didn't want to go. So we have those overcast days in our caregiving world and they can be difficult, but you know, we take a deep breath and we make them make it through them. We make it through them. Then we have the days where it's, you know, it's raining pretty good. You know, those days it's not thunderstorming. It's just a pretty steady rain and the world needs that. But in the caregiving world, we're having pretty steady problems with our loved one. It seems everything that we try to do with them, for them, to them, whatever, they don't want us to do. And they're being a little bit combative and not so happy to get along with. Those days, we understand too. And just as we can't control the weather, we can't control those days with our loved one. They're going to come. And then there's the hurricane days. 
And as I live here in Florida, I'm learning more and more about hurricanes, more than I want to know. Although I got to tell you, one of the worst hurricanes that I've heard of in a while happened in South Carolina. So there you go. Um, but hurricanes, scary, bad, and that's the days you want to hide. And that's what I say we're going to talk about today. Those days you just want to hide from life. Now, whether you're caregiving or not, you have those days you want to hide from life. Do you not? I know you do. And if you don't, please write and tell me how you're making that happen, right? Because right? we all have those days where we just want to hide. Well, guess what? Your loved one with dementia has those days they want to hide too. So if your caregiving journey is feeling like a day you want to hide, you can rest assured that that person you're caregiving for is feeling it even more intensely. Isn't that kind of concerning or are sad if you think about how hard caregiving is for you on those days to realize that it's very hard for them the issues that are going on in their brain the confusion the noise um, if you will look back at several episodes ago uh, in the past I played a whole bunch of noise while I talked with you and it was just really irritating to me to try to do and I know it was irritating to you to try to hear which was the point but imagine living with that all the time. Imagine trying to want to get your words out and you can't get your words out. <clears throat> imagine trying to um, have or having a thought in your brain like, I wish I could tell them my belly hurts. I wish I could get them to understand that I'm thirsty. I wish I could get them to leave me alone but they can't get their words out. It's just this, this hurricane going on in their mind, in their body even. They can't do anything about it. Just as you can't do anything about a true hurricane, it's going to come. It's going to come through. It's going to do what it's going to do. It's going to leave, and it's going to leave behind damage. And that's the way those days for your loved one, um, that's the way it feels for them. It comes through. They can't stop it. They can't fix it. It's got to come through. It's going to leave but it's gonna leave behind damage. Every day that we have those hurricane type days with our loved one, which then causes a hurricane type day for us as the caregiver, it does leave behind some damage that we can't fix. And it's not like with a hurricane, we can go in and clean up and, and rebuild and repair and put on new roofs and plant new trees. <clears throat> with dementia, we can't do that the damage is done and, and we have to learn then new techniques to deal with this new person. It's back to entering the space and time in which they live and not expecting from them what they can't do. Now that's hard to do because you know that last Tuesday they could help you do. They could help you put their arms in their clothes and today they can't do it. Oh, that's tough. You just want to say, come on, would you help me out? Be cooperative. Don't be hard to get along with. Don't be argumentative. Mm. But just remember, they're not choosing to be this way. It is not something they can help. So you take a deep breath and you realize that the sun's going to come up again tomorrow. I promise you. The sun will come up. The rains will go away. The day will improve and you will have another good day with them. And I don't care even if they're in the very last days of their life. It may not be a good day, but you'll have good segments of the day. I know this because I've been through it with my mama. There are There was one day, well I have to tell you, as mama um, was living in her last 24 days, um, a very important time in my world that I hope I never forget. I did start writing down the things that she said because she just didn't say a whole lot for 24 days. And one day, caregiver Carla came in and we were making sure that Mama got turned regularly. She had developed a bed sore on her hind end, right at the end of her spine at her tailbone. And um, mm, every time I looked at that dang thing, it made my insides cringe thinking that's got to hurt this raw skin. So we were turning her to get pressure off of it. She didn't appreciate that oh so very much. I'm just going to tell you, she didn't go, well, thank you for turning me. I just appreciate that so much. Uh-uh. This woman who had laid there for several days and said nothing, all of a sudden looked up at Carla and said, you were told to leave me alone. <laughs> so you have these little moments where they say funny things or they say instructive things that you need to pay attention to. 
So we enter their world, and for which I think Carla probably said something silly back to her because she, her and Carla just had an interesting relationship. They kind of at each other, and it was funny, and they laughed at each other and made mama made my mama smile, and I I love that. You made you make my mama smile. You are my friend. Well, life can come at you. The weather's going to come. The storms are going to come. You know, um, what is that song from the 1970s? I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. A little off tune, but that's the truth. We were never promised that all our days would be good days. They were not for Jesus Christ, and he's the only man I know that deserved for or, and deserves for all his days to be good days. But they were not. I do remember they, he was crucified. Mm, talk about a bad day. That's a bad day. So don't be feeling all yucky and down. Know it's going to pass. Know you're going to get through it. And know that oh, you can write me. And I am here to help answer questions. And several of you have been writing with thoughts and questions. And, and I'm happy, so happy to be here to help you. And that's what I want to do. So you can write me, Carol at let's talk dementia dot o r g and i'm happy to write you back well as i continue to plant some roots here in florida i am excited that tomorrow morning let's see what's the name hold on a minute let me get my calendar i have a meeting tomorrow morning at gospel baptist church here in um, florida and i'm excited to meet with this pastor he's in bonita springs florida if you're looking for a Baptist church, might I recommend Gospel Baptist Church. They are interested in dementia education. That makes me happy. I'm feeling like that there are more and more churches that need to understand how to reach out to their parishioners who are either caregiving or living with dementia. Don't you agree? You know, we're talking about people who have been in the church all their lives. Some of them are founding members and now they have dementia and nobody knows how to respond to them. Hmm. I'm feeling like it's my job to help churches know that. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow, and I'm excited. Well, a special thank you to our sponsor, Beth Crosby, at EditorBeth.com, and Life in the Carolinas at LifeInTheCarolinas.com, www.LifeInTheCarolinas.com. There you go. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension, 803-985-0985. Check us out on Amazon, our best-selling book, Let's Talk Dementia, Mama is confused, and so am I. Reminisce and worship, and if my body is a temple, why am I eating donuts? You guys know I've got two more books I've written that I've never put on Amazon, and I'm seriously thinking about getting them out and working on them and sprucing them up a little bit and getting Editor Beth to go through them and making them available to you. Maybe one day I'll do that. Yeah, sounds like a lot of work. I hope you have a good day. I hope today is a sunshiny day in your world. Hope it doesn't rain a bit. But if it does, you just keep on smiling. Because God's with you. He's got a plan. Right here is where he's got you and your L.O. There's no better place to be. Amen. See you tomorrow. 8, eight o'clock for a little commercial. 8.15 for Let's Talk Dementia. Live on Facebook. Bye, y'all.